Hi, hello on my new training on Citrix Netscaler. I'm very happy to see you and and again thank you for all for following my training. So today we will focus on Netscaler. So what is Netscaler? So we will see how to configure uh, two VM, Netscaler 1 and Netscaler 2 and install here uh, the VPX of course. Uh, it's the virtual machine that you install directly here on your infra. We'll see how to uh, manage this Netscaler, how to set up the IP address. Uh, we'll see of course how to um, configure your Netscaler IP to be able to connect here directly on your Netscaler and to manage your IP address. So the IP address is very important. Uh, we'll see what is a Netscaler IP address, what is a Submit IP address. We'll see information about also all the uh, the VLAN information, about the routing information. We'll see a lot of information how when you log something, how do you identify your IP. So you know that the Netscaler is in a proxy. So uh, when you do log, you have your source IP. It will be the submit IP. And after this in IP, it will be the backend server. This is important. Of course, after that, we will see all the information about HA. So HA is high availability. So we'll see how to set up two nodes here and to participate in a HA configuration. After that, we will focus on load balancing. So load balancing is one of the most powerful features of Netscaler. So we'll see information about load balancing. So we'll see how to first uh, set up your feature to enable load balancing after how to create your server, create your services, create your V server and how to connect to this information. We'll see all the stats information about a server. So how many users are connected actually to a server and to see all the hits of a server. This is very, very important, of course. Okay, so after that security. Security is so important. So we'll see how to set up the security, the certificate on your ADC. So for that, we'll see how to go on your SSL and how do you manage your file? How do you create your RSA key, submit it, create a CSR, submit it to an authority and after re um, install your certificate. So we'll see all information about the certificate and we'll see a lot of information about SSL offload. Of course, security is only is also a factor of who can connect on your Netscaler. So we'll see information about, of course, the system authentication here. So we'll see the, uh, how to create you new user on your ADC and how to enable uh, authentication with, for example, local, reduce, LDAP, or TACAX. After we'll focus on the log of the Netscaler, okay, low log, so syslog and nslog. So we'll see how to use a software like Kiwi and to uh, send all information in Kiwi. So we'll see the log with syslog and nslog. After remote access, remote access is so important. So we'll see before remote access, the app expert, okay? So app expert is something that a lot of, of company use because with app expert, you can uh, manage all your setting. So for example, you can say that somebody coming from England, you can send in the connection to English page coming from Spain, Spain, you can do cotton switching to see if it's an iOS or Android. So this is very, very nice. Uh, we'll see, of course, the remote access part. In this remote access part, we'll see the citrus gateway. So gateway is when you want people to, from outside your company to access your information. And we'll see something amazing is the unified gateway. Unified Gateway is a way that you have only one IP address and you can directly access to all your information just with one IP address. Wow, this is fantastic. And after we'll see how to integrate, of course, your solution, uh, your remote access with Citrix, GANAPEX and Desktop. Okay, so thank you for all and hope to see you uh, in this training and take care. Bye-bye. Ciao.